I'll just go ahead and walk that way. Um, so does this look like a haunted house to you? Well, let's hope it's not. I came across this building while I took a wrong turn at the outer, uh, outer skirts of Abu Dhabi and stopped by, the, uh, I, got, uh, I stopped by this house and found it really interesting as the contrast of the rusted doors with the block works that's happening. So I, I got really curious. So I went ahead and started, um, started exploring the place. So I want to take you on a tour of this house. So when I entered the house for the first time, I found another door. So I got curious, where does this other door lead to? So I found out that it was a courtyard house. So I wanted to explore what's in the rooms. Well, the rooms is, uh, is left with a lot of memories. A lot of memories with children's toys laying around. Some, of, uh, some, report, uh, some report cards are just uh, thrown uh, on the ground. And some tacky wallpaper on the ceiling peeling off. However, on the other side of this wall was an old dusted, uh, full of dust picture of Sheikh Zayed. And then I went ahead and went into another room. And that room was, uh, that seems like a master bedroom. And I found this like old bulky vanity just laying there. And I, thought, uh, and I asked my mother about it and she said that was the trend back then. This bulky vanity was all over the town. And then before leaving that place, I saw this really long black duct tape. So I got curious and went and followed it, which led me to this calendar, an old calendar. And if you read the date, it's 2000. That the house was left abandoned for almost two decades, just left there. And I left that house with that in mind, curious of why is this house left abandoned? Why isn't it utilized? So I went and did my research and came across a lot of articles that talked about a lot of houses that are just, um, are just left abandoned and are in a phase of going to get demolished soon. But, but if you think about it, it was left there for 20 years. Why didn't it get demolished soon? As I highly do not advise you roaming around abandoned places, this talk is not to, for you to go <laughs> and roam around abandoned places. But because these places, the abandonment of these places becomes a hotbed for insects or it's just aesthetically not pleasing to the country. It's also these, uh, the abandonment of these houses becomes a criminal activity place. And some are just structurally not intact, uh, so they just need to be demolished. So uh, that sparked my interest of abandoned places. I roamed around and like, researched more abandoned places. I wanted to know more stories about them. And I came across this. Well, what is this? This is a wedding hall. It may not seem like a wedding hall currently, current status, but it was a wedding hall. And as I asked around about this wedding hall, it's, uh, it turns out to be the first public wedding hall in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. So it was the transition wedding hall between tents and getting married at, in houses to this public wedding hall, which now people get married in lavish five-star hotels. So, um, so I started depicting like how people described it for me. It used to be like a tent shape and a lot of people recalled a brother or a sister or a friend getting married in this wedding hall. So it had a lot of sentimental value to some of the people. And um, so I was wondering, uh, instead of looking at this building as this ugly, uh, aesthetically unpleasing building, I started looking at it as a gem, an architectural gem, something that you typically do not see around the city. Well, what do you normally see? You see a lot of skyscrapers and lavish building. So I found this really interesting. And I wanted to come up with a solution as an, uh, as an interior designer on how can I utilize this? How can I create function to this space? How can I eliminate criminal activities and eliminate, uh, instead of making it a hub for insects, making it a hub for people to utilize. So then I started uh, creating an inexpensive design using scaffolding. Yes, scaffolding, that's what you normally see in construction site. So I started constructing an outdoor lounge, uh, a conceptual design of an outdoor lounge within these rooms. Instead of these rooms being uh, just a distraction, it becomes like a backsplash to this place of filled with memories to some people. And instead of, uh, instead of 
uh, instead of painting the walls, I kept them as a decorative element. Why can't we have a cafe in this abandoned place? Why can't we enclose it with new materials and introduce a contemporary design to this space? And what about this? Well, I re this is one of my favorite photos because it frames the scene very well. Because this, the abandoned place is surrounded by a lot of greenery. It's such an amazing place. It's like hidden in Abu Dhabi. And it's very quiet. So why not have a, like a public library or a mini place to like sit and like communicate and share ideas, like a thinking hub? And this is an old bathroom. And instead of removing the backsplashes and stuff, I kept them as a memory. Because this building was built during the uh, unification of Al-Ittihad. So I kept the, the, uh, this, uh, the tiles as memories and created just an open door gallery space that could be utilized during winter days. Why not? And this place, I, uh, there, there's a tree that started growing into the space and started manifesting the space. No, 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 I didn't tear it down. I kept it as, a, as an element of design and created an alienated space which you can just go there and sit and like, you know, stare at the tree and like wonder. You could sketch or you can read a book or anything. So I kept wondering, uh, why not? Why can't we create new spaces into old spaces? Why do we need to demolish such spaces? Why is the definition here uh, of architecture, meaning, uh, meaning aluminum cladding buildings or some uh, skyscraper or some huge lavish palaces, why can't we utilize these, uh, these abandoned buildings and making them small hubs in Abu Dhabi for a thinking tank or a, a social place? OK, the photo isn't clear, but like, this is how it, I, I picture it being a, an, an interactive space and keeping the essence of the building itself rather than tearing it down. However, uh, however this is the building now. Okay, Actually, it, it got cleaned up. This is the building, what happened to it. So it kept me wondering on how, why, uh, why do we need to demolish things that are well-structured and that holds a lot of memories why can't we just identify these buildings and revitalize these buildings and celebrate, celebrate these buildings as they do tell a story of a country? Thank you so much. <laughs>